Okay, we're armed with uh, x times a plus b. It's probably as well to point out that that equals a plus b times x on the other side because we can just swap the order around like we, like we showed the other day. Okay, so I'm going to do something a little bit more complicated. I'm going to have x plus y times a plus b, and I'll show you two ways to do it. Um, well, I'm going to say that that's equal to x plus y. Well, let me just write down what we had before. We had x times a plus b equals xa plus xb. And now I'm going to get a bit tricky. I'm going to say, well, instead of x here, I've got x plus y there. So now I'm going to rewrite this thing here as x plus y, all in brackets, a, plus x plus y, b. All I'm doing is writing that out there, but with x, I'm going to write that out as x plus y instead. So, well, that's it. We've just, we've just done that. Now I can expand this lot here and this lot here using the same technique, but with the, um, with the a and b on the right-hand side. So that's just xa plus ya plus, that's that one there, plus xb plus yb, that in brackets and that in brackets. And of course, because addition is associative, I can just write it out without brackets, xa plus ya plus x b plus y b. Now I'm going to do something that you probably don't see at school, but I'm going to show you anyway. Um, I'm going to write it out the other way. I'm going to say x plus y times a plus b. And now here, what I did was out of x plus y a, x plus y b, I'm going to do it the other way around. I'm going to say it's x times a plus b plus y a plus b. All I'm doing there is I'm using a plus b as the unit. You see the a plus b is, 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 is unchanged between this and this and that and that. And now I can use the same rule again. xa plus xb plus ya plus yb. Now, are they the same? Well, they are and they aren't. They've both got an xa in. There they are. But look one, this says ya plus xb, and this says xb plus ya. They're just in a different order. Look, the yb is, is the same in both cases, but these guys have been swapped over. But of course, that doesn't matter, because you can add things in any order you like. We did that in the second, or no, even the first, the first screencast. So look, they all match up. That xb there is equal to this one here, and that ya is equal to that ya there. So why did I do that? What I've done is I've got this expression here, x plus y times a plus b, and I've expanded it in two distinct ways, just because I could, just because I felt like it. Here, we kept the x plus y together and then expanded it, and here we kept the a plus b together because that came through there and then expanded it in the second row. And it doesn't really matter which way you do it because they are both equal to the same thing xa plus xb plus ya plus yb, or the other way around, xa plus ya plus xb plus yb. Brilliant. So that's how to expand x plus y times a plus b. I'm actually going to do that again. I'm going to put some numbers in here. I'm going to say uh, 3 plus y times a plus 4. So this is quite sophisticated. If you just look at this little formula here, x has gone to 3. y I've just left as y. a is a and b is 4. So I've just left a without changing it. a still sat there just as an a, and y still sat there. But what I've got is this x and b, which I've actually put numbers in for. I can do that kind of thing with algebra if I like. So let me show you how to do this in practice. I always start here. I use, which one is it? I use this way of doing it. Oops. I use this way of doing it, not, not the other way. 
So what we've got there is 3 times a plus 4 plus y times a plus 4 equals 3a plus 3 times 4, oops, plus 4, plus y times a plus 4y. Notice that I'm writing the 4, um, it says y times 4, but we know that multiplication, with multiplication it doesn't depend, doesn't matter which way you write them down. So you can write them down any way you like. Let's just do a bit of simplification here. 3a plus 12 plus ya plus 4y equals, well, that's about it. Maybe I put the 12 first. Mathematician will probably put the 12 first or the 12 last. I don't know. Plus 3a plus 4y plus ya. So you see, we can expand. We can expand brackets like that. It's really important to get practice at this. When you can, once you can do it, I'm going to, I'm going to give another one. X plus Z times P minus 15, just because I can. You see, I've written down X and Y and A and B, but I could make those symbols anything. It's just squiggles on a page. I can, I can write those numbers down in any way. So I've just called them X and Z and P and 15 here, but it doesn't matter. So let's have a look at that. That's X. I'll do it. I'll do it in simple steps, and then I'll show you how how the mathematician would do it. P minus 15 plus Z times P minus 15 equals XP minus 15X plus ZP minus 15Z. There you go. Straightforward. I'll give you some more examples. Let's try. Let's try a minus 4 times b plus 6. Oops, 6. Equals a times b plus 6. Now, at this point, what we actually have technically is plus minus 4 times b plus 6. Because here, I don't have a plus. I've got a minus. I've got a minus 4. So a minus 4 is the same as a plus minus 4, and that's what I've written down here. However, well, let's just go through this. a, b plus 6a plus minus 4 times b plus minus 4 times 6 equals, equals a, b plus 6a minus 4b minus uh, 4, 6 is a 24. Okay, well, that's quite nice. However, let me show you how I would do that. a minus 4 times b plus 6. I would say that's a times b plus 6 minus 4 times b plus 6. You see, I would just write down the minus 4 directly. That minus sign meaning um, it just, just translates to that minus 4 there. So a, b plus 6, a minus 4, b minus 24. Alright. I'm going to do one more example. Um, alpha plus beta times x plus y plus z. Let's have a look at that. Well, that's alpha times x plus y plus z plus beta times x plus y plus z. I'm taking a little bit of a liberty here because I've only really talked about this expansion in terms of thing brackets with two things in. And here I've got three. I've got x, y, z, one, two, three. But it's the same idea. Alpha x plus alpha y plus alpha z plus beta x plus beta y plus beta z. And there's your answer. Okay, I'll stop there. This is too long anyway.